Yeah, 100 and welcome back to some more Miles Edgeworth Ace Turning Investigations 2 The Inherited Turnabout Or Prosecutor's Path, The Inherited Turnabout Sorry, it's been a while since I've done this Um, in the previous episode We had met Von Karma himself Who is just as scary now as we knew him back then In Phoenix Wright And we had investigated Delicia's room And found out that Her dessert is not completely genuine we need to investigate a little bit more so if you like what you see leave a like down below comment if you have anything to say subscribe to me if you haven't already and share with your friends so they can join in on this investigation now last time we got a whole bunch of logic points and i'm actually going to start off the episode by saving uh okay so this is fourth episode just beaten to death fake desserts so that makes sense Nope. Hmm, no good. The line of uh, that line of logic seems too unreasonable. Okay. So let's examine the castle a little bit more then. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Is this spot somehow connected to any of the evidence I hold? Eureka! Never mind. I, this episode's not starting off to good start. Alright, so let's get it. looks like both the lamps and the pillar are broken. Both of their light both the light bulbs are broken. Maybe they were dropped on the floor. There's some sort of red stain on the slab's surface. This stain, could it be? That smell, there's no mistake in it. It's blood stain. Ugh, th that's bl blood stain. Why is there blood stain on this lamp? I wonder if this has something to do with the lamp bulb being broken. I should also take a look at the other lamp here. So this is where Delicia originally intended to put the lamps. I don't get why she put them in the castle. Since they're broken, don't decide to light up. Maybe decide to put them out of the way. To want them out of the way. There are many other places to store them. It's like that old saying, hide the salt in the sugar bag. I think the saying goes, hide a tree in a forest. Delicia has intended to use these lamps as decorations during the contest. It creates a contradiction with that piece of evidence. I need to- oh, okay. Alright. Eureka! Eureka! Detective Bad, please read the contest leaflet. Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. Huh. These these rock salt lamps and flesh, flesh, fluorescent quartz go against the rules. So maybe that's why they were hidden in that case. I wonder about that. I think we should investigate further into Delisa's actions. Alright. Using decorations that were against the rules and making fake decorations. A lot of Delicia's actions seem suspicious. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she's aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Also, the temperature of this room is way too high. There's a reason for that. I wonder. I think we should. I think we should ask Delicia directly. We should clear out any remaining logic points. There's evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. What's more, there's a blood stain on one of the broken rock salt lamps. 
Could this lamp have been the murder weapon? You're right. It could have been used as a weapon. Maybe. Some blood stain analysis on this rock salt lamp finally finished. Ah, of course. You heard what he said. Time to confront Delicia. The murder weapon was hidden in Delicia's room. We need to consider her as one of the suspects as well. Huh? Uh, Miss Delicious, you don't seem as energetic as you were earlier. Delicia, can I ask, did something happen with Von Karma? Yes, see, nothing of the sort. She just said yesy. <laughs> That Yessie just is now just a greeting. You're a cute boy. I like you. What's your first name? Eh, uh, it's Raymond, but... Well, Ray Ray, I think you'll make a good, good man of yourself one day. R Ray Ray? How about that? I think you have a, a way with British ladies. She is British. She's a little different from my image of a lady. Why don't we listen to what she has to say? Tell me about your actions during the contest. I suddenly forgot how to do a British accent. We got we began making desserts for the contest around ten o'clock. Basically, I was here making my desserts the whole time. At half past one, I joined the afternoon tea for about an hour or so. Afternoon tea. It's a social occasion where conversation is had over black tea and cakes. Um, so it's pretty much a tea party. Well, I suppose. Huh. Oh, Greggy, you're a smart boy, aren't you? When I become Greggy, where was the afternoon tea held? It took place in the gardens outside of the fountain patio. It's customary. It's our customary break time during the contest. It's always held at the same time. Today, there were just three of us who took part. Jeffy, Katie, and me. So Jeffy had already finished his creations. He was there from beginning to end. I sing gusty. They uh, missing mixing up accents. Um, didn't join it because I hadn't finished the dessert yet. So everyone other than Miss Dilver and Miss Mr. Gustavia participated. Yes, actually, I hadn't finished my dessert yet either. I just wanted to try some of Jeffy's handmade pastries and Katie's fresh brewed tea. So after I had eaten my fill, I had returned before everyone else. During the contest, did you enter any of the other contestants' rooms? Huh? What are you saying? You found your fingerprints on the desserts at the crime scene. <laughs> you found them? Are you admitting that you went to the scene of the murder? <laughs> I admit it, but I'm not a murderer. It's, on it's the honest truth, please hear me out. What were you doing in Mr. Master's room? The truth is, I'm studying his desserts. Studying? Because Jeffy's so talented at making sweets. Well, nobody was in his room at the time, so I decided to study his works for a bit. But if you were just looking, you wouldn't have left your fingerprints behind. Yes, see, it's not that I left my fingerprints under the desserts. For the sake of research, I ate some of his desserts. Uh, isn't that like stealing food? wrecked Mr. Master's room was... I'm sorry, it was my it was my intention to vandalize the room, but I did eat a few parts of the desserts in his room. I secretly ate a bit of bits and little bits and pieces so Jeffy wouldn't find out. So did you eat the ship's stand as well? Yes see I did. Chocolate ship bro, because of you. I'm sorry. So the reason she left the afternoon tea early was to preserve her appetite. But you have got to believe me on this. I'm not the murderer. Her actions are sufficiently suspicious, but I won't press it on it yet. Alicia, why is the room temperature set to 68 degrees? The cold doesn't agree with me, plus it's bad for the body. This figure just doesn't maintain itself, you know. Naturally, as a lady, I want to look young forever. I wonder. 
I was, how old is Mr. Delicious really is? Raymond, a true gentleman, never asked a woman her age. This room, mainly filled with cream, and 50 degrees is the recommended temperature for preserving fresh cream. What really? Now it's all gone to waste. Looks like Miss Delicious didn't know. Thought she was supposed to be a first class pastry chef. Fake desserts and, and the rule violations, and now her lack of basic knowledge. She, looks like she keeps many secrets. Lisa's knowledge in the in the art of dessert making is la lacking in fundamental areas. She claims that she went into Mr. Master's room in order to study his desserts. These actions and ideas are not fitting as someone aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Yeah, they don't sound like the words of a pro. Like she doesn't even realize it, or... Or maybe she isn't a real a pastry chef. Perhaps she has some other intention. It's possible that she didn't go into the room to study desserts. So then, are you saying Miss Delicious the criminal? We can't say for sure yet. But I know she's hiding something from us. Do I have anything to present her? Oh, yes I do. Oh, that scene you got there is rather cute. Oh, okay. Sweet smell of cream, yeah, it's truly fair to a world. And yet in this sugary sweet room, there was one such sour face. It doesn't belong in this room. That scary old man. Raymond, mind what you say. You're being a bit rude. Sorry. It won't happen again. You remind me of my old school teacher who used to get mad at me a lot. A school teacher? I definitely don't want to think of my son being taught by such a man. Oh, the irony. Oops. Damn it. I always do that. What am I missing? Can't leave the room. The full fairies in the Curious Candy Castle. Seems like this was a theme for Lisa's works. It's not just the Candy Castle I'm curious about. Here are all the tools to use to make desserts. Everything from a bucket of fresh cream to a brush and towel. Looks like more of a construction worker's tools. And now, boys, don't uh, uh, undersweet. Wait, really? Don't undersweet mate the work of a pastry chef. It's completely different from construction work where they cover walls with cement. We use the trowel to smear the cream and then the brush to clean any other uneven parts. How's it different from construction work? What am I missing? What about bad? What do, what do you have to say? What? This room. Same design as Master's room. Is something bothering you? Von Karma was investigating inside the Candy Castle. I wonder why. Detective Bad, do you suspect Alicia? That woman is having some. I detect a spirit. Telling me so. Is that just detective intuition? Something about this room definitely is troubling me as well. I should listen to what Alicia has to say. Circumstances have changed. We should investigate the scene once more. Yes, the flourishing cloth beyond the fairy dolls. Ah, okay, and the rock. Okay. Why were they in the castle? No, why were they hidden inside the castle? Okay. Right, we need to investigate the dolls again. It's a cute candy fairy sitting on a tree stump. The cl cloth in the back, um, uh, along with it, 
the decorations really gives it a magical atmosphere. When you look at it, it almost feels like you're spellbound. What you need to look for is the hidden truths of the real world. Don't be fooled by the fairies. Unlike the other fairies, this one doesn't have a fluorescent claw. It's delicious. It's not right to leave one out. I don't like it either. But one fluorescent cloth in a machine has gone missing. You've lost a cloth and a machine. What sort of machine is it? Oi, let me tell you. It's a piece of piece of, a, a, a fluorescent cloth that's hooked up to one of these machines. The machine is called a rainbow light device. Light is sent through the cable and into the cloth, which is made of optic fibers. Just fiddle around with the settings a bit, and it will turn into all sorts of colors. When it glows red, it's like a raging inferno. And when it glows blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice. It's powered by a long-lasting battery that's resistant to change in temperature. I'm not familiar with these kinds of devices. Mr. Edgeworth, she's saying it's a machine that can tra transmit light to special cloth. I see. It's amazing what they come up with these days. Rainbow light device and one fluorescent cloth are missing. Yes, that's right. What, whatever, wherever they could they be? This fluorescent cloth. Would it be related to the case? That was what I was missing. All right. That's enough. Investigating. We found out much more than I expected. And yet, something from before still bothers me. Prosecutor Von Karma must have found the murder weapon in this room. So then, why did he let Delicia be? Firstly, I must ascertain Von Karma's true motives. Detective Dad, I would like to ask Prosecutor Von Karma something. I've also got business with him. And Delicia there, too. Yep. We'll say, oh dear, Baddy, do clear me like that. Seems Detective Bad also has his doubts about Delicia Von Karma. Delicia, would you come with us for a moment? You see, that's fine. What for? We have to find Von Karma. There's some things that we need to talk to him about. December 24th, 8.05 p.m. Contest venue, Fountain Patio. to see him in like a full um full sprite instead of behind the desk actually it looked kind of creepy from this it looks like he has no pupils um <clears throat> what's we to von karma we need to talk about the case <laughs> from the looks of your face i assume you found the murder weapon yes we discovered the murder weapon in delicia's room it would seem Mr. Master isn't the only suspect in this case. Pa! That's not true. Where the murder weapon was found, was found does not change the fact that Master is the culprit. As long as I'm here. Why is Von Karma so sure of himself? Well then, are you going to explain why the murder weapon was in Delisa's room? <laughs> Naturally. If you wish to know, I'll tell you. Oh, this is gonna destroy my throat! <clears> throat> In order to pin the crime on Delicia, Master used the rock, rock salt lab to kill the victim. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delicia's room. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have been the one suspected. He couldn't move the bodies, so it was easy to move the murder weapon. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. Mr. Master took the rock salt lab. Precisely. I carried out the investigation myself. There can be no room for doubt. Do you have evidence that he moved it? <laughs> that would not be necessary. What? <laughs> if you know, if you have an if you have an objection, say it. Do you think a mere defense attorney can break my logic? In order to pin the crime on Delicia, Master used the rock cell lamp to kill the victim. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delicia's room. Hold it! 
You took the rock salt lamp from Delicia's room. Exactly. In order to kill Dover, he had prepared the murder weapon beforehand. But the murder weapon was found in Delicia's room. That doesn't place suspicion on. Doesn't that place suspicion on Delicia too? <clears throat> I'm not finished. Master killed Dover. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delicia's room. Hold it. So the murder weapon was the rock salt lamp hidden inside the candy castle. <laughs> I discovered the murder weapon when I entered the castle. Be thankful, defense attorney, that you came too came by this information. Why was it necessary for you to enter the castle? Maybe he's interested in one of the candy castles. Objection! Ugh. Why you? Do you think I wouldn't end there because I wanted to? The detectives at the scene were useless, so I had to investigate myself. I wasn't in charge of the initial investigation. Detective Bad joined the investigation halfway through. Bah! A simple word of ethic is required if you are to gain my trust. This is a flagrant waste of time. I'll continue. If he had just left the murder weapon at the crime scene, the master would have been the one suspected. Hold it! Wouldn't the body left behind in the room be also cause for suspicion? Moreover, objection! I have a favorite saying. I'd like to share it with you. Even dogs can wait. Wait until I finished. That's exactly what I'd like to say to you. I couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Hold it! Are you saying that Mr. Master removed the murder weapon and then hit the body in the chest? He believed that he hit, if he hid the body inside his own work, it would not be discovered. So savory. Don't you mean so sorry? Sign of remorse. He moved the murder weapon, and then left the body at the seat. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. Hold it! How can you conclude that Mr. Master is the killer without any evidence? Objection! Tch. You think that would shake me? You disappoint me. As long as your, the body was found in Master's room, he's the prime suspect. Objection! Objection. Is there really no evidence pointing to anyone else at the crime scene? So there is room for further investigation. Objection. Insolent attorney. Another investigation not necessary. Master must be the killer. If you think differently, cease these pointless words and speak with evidence. Getting back to the crime scene. Mr. Master isn't the killer. There must have been something there to incriminate someone else. Since that Von Karma will be shaken easily, I have to present evidence that contradicts his reasoning. Okay, uh, I think... Fingerprints were found... What about the Signet Crest? Objection. Nope. What do you think of this piece of evidence, Prosecutor Con Von Karma? A foolish question. It's not even worth thinking about. It's pitiful. Can you even call yourself a defense attorney? I, I am a defense attorney. With an inferior rebuttal. Well, I can't say I expected much from the defense attorney. Ugh, he really does look down on me. There may be no evidence. So it's not the signet ring. Nope. The statement is straight. It concentrates this piece of evidence. Bogcomb's logic is perfect. The, the very thought of a contradiction is inconceivable. <sighs> you think that evidence can break my logic?
we've already agreed that it's not that. Back to the car and say. Objection! Objection. I, I don't know, but okay. It's true that the murder weapon and bloodstains disappeared from the vicinity. However, there was still one piece of incriminating evidence left behind. They look at this photograph, which was taken when the body was first discovered. Cloth was used to oh, that's the photographic. Okay, all right, all right. I will, I will, I will admit that was a stupid part, a uh, stupid move on my part. Does it remind you of the fluorescent cloth from Alicia's room? My fluorescent cloth was at the crime scene. Ha! Huh, fluorescent cloth. You just what part of this cloth is fluorescent? I guess Von Karma doesn't know about this cloth secret. Looks like a normal cloth at first glance, but if you can use this rainbow light device, you can make it glow. Let's get rid of Von Karma. Seems a little surprised. I don't think it was the cloth's ability to glow that surprised him. One sheet of fluorescent cloth is currently unaccounted for. Now, I'd like you to look at the color of this cloth in the photo. Don't you think it looks like the color of the fluorescent cloth before it's been light up? Lit up? <laughs> Both the rocks, salt lamp, and the fluorescent cloth originally belonged to Delicia. Wouldn't it be natural to assume that this cloth was used to wrap the body? What's your computer on karma? I believe the present conditions give us much more reason to suspect Delicia. <laughs> Hold it, Greggy. Do you really suspect me? I don't know if you yet if you're the culprit, but it is true that you're hiding something. Am I right? Uh, that's... Objection! So, you're saying that the murder weapon in the cloth was the original from Delisha's room? Yes. <laughs> What's so funny? Just as I expected from you. The murder weapon in the cloth are not from her room. How unfortunate for you. What does he mean? Before the contest began, Master noticed her violation of the rules. Confiscated the cloth from the rock salt lamp and keep them in his room for safekeeping. What? The victim was not seen as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had began. The only one who could have unlocked that locked room door is with Jeff Masters. And the murder weapon, the rock salt lamp, was being kept in Masters room. This should be decisive evidence proving Master's guilt. Defense attorney. 
you've lost to me before you even had a chance to stand in court. Ugh, what's this? What? It's all investigating for nothing? This is delicious. Why didn't you tell us about the confiscated items? Well, Nani said I'd look suspicious if I did. That's really not karma. It's true, you all suspect me, don't you? Tch. How clumsy of you, defense attorney. Von Karma. So that's why you let us investigate Delisa's room. In your clumsiness, there's one more thing I need you to inform you of. Two sets of fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Two? Yes. They belong to Jeff Masters and Delisa Scones. No other fingerprints were found. After Masters killed Dover with the confiscated, confiscated rock salt, he foolishly concealed the metal weapon bearing his own fingerprints in its owner's room. Damn. I don't even need this to prove my case in court. I have more than enough perfect evidence to prove Masters' guilt. Objection! Objection! Hold it! I still have some doubts about the fluorescent cloth found in Mr. Masters' room. Ha! <laughs> Irrelevant. After disposing of the body, he intended to return it to Delisa's room. <sighs> I have enough information to refute Von Karma's reasoning. Tch. <laughs> Nothing left to say. If your job is done, leave this place. That's... Can't give up yet. <laughs> You're wasting enough time as it is. Bat, take them away. There's still some doubts left in our investigation. Sick of bad. What's the meaning of this? It's not my nature. To leave any doubts behind. There is still one piece of evidence that has yet to be identified. That's right. There are still the traces someone left behind. Bah, think about your doubts as much you want later. But this, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Objection. Objection! No, I also have some doubts about one piece of evidence. It's likely that I have the same doubts Detective Bad has. What? This is the piece of evidence left in Mr. Master's room that has yet to be identified. Okay, this is where the, the signet comes in. Take that! <sighs> Son of a bitch. Oh, is it the... Is it the finger marks? It has to be. Take that! Yeah, there it is. Somebody left a glove mark, left glove mark finger marks on one of Mr. Master's desserts. If these were the killer's finger marks, then it's possible that the killer also didn't leave any fingerprints on the murder weapon. How did you, how, uh, how did you know the state of the crime scene? I gave them permission to investigate. Objection! Bad! What possessed you to let a defense attorney uh, into a crime scene? Tell me not to let them in. Ah, such impudence. You best remember that. Your salary of you depends on me. Ugh. This isn't good for bad. I'm so glad I have a kind boss like Mr. Edgeworth. Salary of you depends on how you perform here. Surprise one of me an attorney like you managed to recover it sort of time. However, it's possible that those finger marks were mess Master's own doing. Does he always wore gloves while cooking? Objection! Do you have any evidence that the finger marks were left by Master? And moreover, there are still a few points of suspicion around, surrounding Delicia. Oh, you still haven't given up on that. Ah, uh, Greggy, you suspect me. I've already apologized for stealing a few bites. I don't want to suspect you. However, I can't easily trust those who tell lies. You must still be hiding something. Greggy is a bully. Don't you know the temperature fresh cream must be kept at? You call yourself a dessert chef, but you lack even the most basic knowledge. Um, I'm sorry, but for my lack of knowledge. In your case, it's not even about the lack of knowledge. In truth, you don't even know how to make desserts, do you? Objection! Defense attorney! Stop trying to force your own reasoning! In a court of law, the evidence tells all. You say the witness is lying, then show it with evidence! We're not in court yet, but very well. This evidence shows that Lisa can't make desserts. Take that! 
The only thing Delicia makes were those that were those that break the rules. The lamp and the cloth that broke the rules were being held in Master's room. There is no way the witness could have returned them to her room. Those were not the only fake desserts she made. What? The desserts may look like something out of a fairy tale at first glance, but in reality they are nothing more than mannequins decorated with cream. Apart from the cream, they're all fake! This is not some something one admiring, aiming to be the world pa world's greatest pastry chef would do. Is this true, Bad? Yes, my shoes can attest to that. Will that be enough to convince Prosecutor Von Karma? Once he sees what Delicia has done, he'll have no choice but to be convinced. Delicia, the fact that your actions could lead you to being a suspect is no laughing matter. That's... I didn't matter! Isn't the time you told us the whole truth? Who are you, and why were you indulging yourself in another contestant's work? You see, I understand. Truth is, I'm not really a dessert chef, like I led you to believe. We are gonna end it off here. We're running a little over time uh, for this episode. So, in the next episode of the mm, the investigation of the inherited turnabout, um, Miles Edgeworth Eastern Investigation style, we are going to find out who Delicia is. I will see you guys later. <laughs>